Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Atusa Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based here in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Fun Fold Friday video tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pinwheel card. So it's this one right here. This is requested to us by the lovely Judy. And um, yes, I have got round to making it. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this card. It's called the pinwheel card. As you can see on the table, I'm going to be using the hand penned petal stamp set along with the coordinating dies. So these ones right here, so these are called pen flowers dies. So these coordinate with the stamp set. And I'm also going to be using that with the designer series paper, which is called the hand penned designer series paper. Throughout the month of July until obviously, I think it's the 2nd of August. This paper is currently on sale with a 15% discount. So if you love this paper as much as we do, we've already got a couple of packets in, then you can actually purchase it now and you can get this with a discount and save yourself 15%. So if you're interested in that, links to our online shop can be found down below in the description as well. Please remember to use the current host code if you do shop with us and that allows us to send you a little thank you gift and thank you card next month. Let's crack on. Um, please remember to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you are enjoying what you see um also remember to hit the all notifications tab to make sure you are notified of all future videos and lives that we do we do two lives a week on a wednesday and a sunday and i come to you on a friday with this fun fold friday video tutorial so anyway let's crack on sit back have fun relax and let's show you how to make a pinwheel card enjoy so the things you're going to need for this is you're going to need some of your cardstock. So I've got here soft succulent cardstock. So I'm going to give it to you in inches first and then I'll give it to you in centimetres. Um, I'll actually pop the centimetres down here. So if you can, you may want to zoom in and you can hopefully read that. I will pop them down below in the description as well. I'm going to give you the inches which are right here. Okay, so you're going to need one piece here measuring 5, 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth, which is 14.9 by 10.5. And this is going to need to be scored at 3 quarters, 1 and a half, 2 and a quarter and 3. But I'll go through that one with you in a second of scoring. You would also need three pieces here measuring 2 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth, which is 7.3 by 10.5 centimetres. You will need three of those. You will need some designer series paper. So you will need this one here, which is going to be, these are two and three quarter inches. So it's this one here, two and three quarter inches by four inches. And you will need three of these ones right here. And you will need some other ones right here. And you will need these by two inches by four inches. And you will need four of these ones, okay? So that there is um, seven by 10.1 and 5.1 by 10.1, okay? And you would then need a piece of basic white here measuring two and three quarters by four or seven and 10.1, okay? That's what you're gonna need. So that's all you need. So have a little look. So there's the inches. And there is the centimetres. So let's move on to the this piece right here first. What you're going to need to do is you're just going to need to do some scoring. So grab your trimmer or your um, scoreboard. And you want to score this along the long edge here at three quarters, one and a half, two and three quarters and three. Or in centimetres, which is 1.9, 3.8, 5.7 and 7.6. So do it at three quarters there, and then I just turn it around and then I'll do that at one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. And that's all your that's all your trimming and cutting done for today, really. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold and burnish all of these lines right here. And then we just need to make, we will need to make this into a cylinder. So we're just going to pop some glue along this edge right here. 
and then stick it to the bigger piece. What you can do as well is you can flatten this out. Now it may, it may resist a little bit, but that's fine. Just force it into place and then just bring and do the score lines down. Just force it down. And then do it the other way around. And then do that. Okay, so then when it stands up, you've got your cube like so. Once you've done that, then what you want to do is you want to grab these pieces and you want to stick these to all of these tabs here. So we're going to go round like that and then stick it to that and then stick it to that one right there. Okay, so just some glue on there, there and there and then stick all of these pieces to it. So there you have it that there is how you make the pinwheel card it is simple as that so i'm just going to let that dry up and whilst that's drying up i'm going to do some stamping to get ready for all the decoration part whilst that's getting itself nice and stuck so you want to grab yourself some normal basic white and i'm going to be using the stamp sets so the hand pin stamp set here and i'm going to be using this one and this one right here, and I'm going to be using these solid stamps for the infills for these cut for these two flowers. Okay, so just go ahead and I'm going to stamp in memento. And then I would just grab my infills. So this one is the larger one. I will need this one here for that flower. And I will need the two little ones and the smaller flower that one up the top there and I'm going to be using for this one I'm going to be using it to, now the way that I've decided to, to use is the color of the coordination on the whatever I've got on this one so I'm pairing with my papers I'm pairing this one here with that one I'm pairing that one with that one because it's got some Highland Heather in it and I'm going to pair this one here with that one right there as well because of the yellow which is in that one and then i'm going to leave this one on its own paired with the basic white where you can write your sentiment okay so i'm going to be using so this one here is because this one has got lots of the pale papyrus in it and the blushing bride and the daffodil delight that's the colors i'm going to be using for this one i will use some more yellow and highland heather for this one right here and probably the same pale papaya and a blushing bride and a daffodil delight for this one. So that's how I've chosen my colours. So just grab all of those. So I've got myself some Highland um, daffodil delight. I've got myself some soft succulent for the greenery. Pale papaya and blushing bride. And there's the Highland heather for the next one. And I'll just repeat the same set for the other one, but I'm going to be using the green, that I will be using Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to be using the Highland Heather. So there we have it. That's those two done right there. So once you've gone ahead and done that, we can then do some die cutting. So I'm going to get my dies ready. So you've got the coordinating dies, which is this one here. And we have got the die for this one right here as well. Now, whilst I'm gonna be doing some die cutting, I'm also gonna die cut my sentiment out. Now, the sentiment I'm gonna be using for this one is a die from another set, because I wanted to make this into a happy birthday. So as much as obviously the sentiments on this are lovely, and what you can do is you can then just stamp these onto a label and then die cut it out and put it onto a label, which is great. I wanted to actually use, this is from the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. I actually wanted to use the happy birthday from this one right here. So not one which would normally pair with this, but I just love my happy birthday on this. 
and it's a great way of die cutting it. And I'm going to be using that with some of the foam adhesive sheets. So if you've not seen these being used, this is a perfect opportunity for you. All right, so you're gonna to need to do that and we're gonna to need to get some dark cardstock. So I'm gonna to need to just grab myself some black cardstock. And to prepare this, what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to just take some of these adhesives, these foam adhesive sheets, and work out the bit which we actually want. So that bit there is big enough for the sentiment. So I can then just snip this foam sheet off like that, okay. Then what I want you to do is just take the backing off of one of these and then just stick your, luckily that's fallen where it is, just stick your um, cardstock to it. Okay, it's double sided, so this side is still sticky once we remove the backing. And then all you do is you then just snip that down like that. And all you want to do is then run this through your die cutter machine. Now you will need something which has got a bit of force. So as well as much as these ones here will fit through the mini machine, this one was going to need a larger machine which has got a lot more pressure to it. So um, just be aware, it doesn't really work too well with the mini, but so grab your larger machine for this one and then run that through. So I'll die cut those first and then I'll show you what this, I'll go through a little bit slower for this one here. Okay, so that's those two pieces cut out ready. Now, when we come to doing the other one, so let's just go through this. So we've already gone ahead and we've gone and popped our color, our chosen cardstock onto our foam. And then all you wanna do is just basically wanna die cut this through the same as you would do normally. All right, but it's just gonna take a little bit more pressure. And you may want to just go backwards and forwards a few times just to make sure that's cut. And you can see there that it's cut. You can see it's got the, I can't say pencil lines. If it looks like a pencil line, then it's cut through. If in doubt, just run it through. I went through that way. Just run it through the other way and maybe just pop it into a different part of the machine just to get a bit of different pressure. better to take your time with this part to make sure that it pops out easy. Can you see there, that's even, that's, that's ready to pop out now. Okay, with this one here, just grab your take your pick tool and just take off your So that has now already pulled, left the backing in there. So be careful because this is now going to be sticky on the back here. So just be aware of that. And I'll just take that part out right there. And then we can then take this out like so. So I'm just going to pop this to one side and come back to this. But this is now sticky on the back here. Just punch these bits out right here. It's a bit fiddly, but it is worth it in the end. All right, and that's what that will be. Okay. And that's now got a sticky backside to it and it's on a foam adhesive. Okay, so that is ready to go. So I'm just going to pop that to one side carefully, ready for when I want to then stick it to my card. So let's decorate this one right here now. So you want to now decide what you want to be the front and the back. So work out what way folds down best, but it folds through flats. All right, so all you want to do is just grab your pieces and I want one piece is going to get stuck on here and then the other piece is going to get stuck on like that. So like that and then repeat that as you go around. So we we'll do the next one on here like this. And then I'll do the next one on the next bit round like that. 
and then don't stick the final one down okay because we want to you can you, we want to be doing some ribbon so we will stick the final one down after we've after we decided with the ribbon so just go ahead with the three of them to start off with so that one and then this one and then the final one Okay, so you have the one, the two, and the three, leaving the final one for our, we'll decorate at the last so we can cover up the ribbon. All right, so what I'm going to do, I've got myself some of the ribbon right here. So this is the open weave ribbon here in Pale Papaya. I'm also going to grab myself some of my locking tweezers to help me tie this knot. I'm going to tie a knot rather than a bow and I want that one there to be my front. So I want my bow to go around this part right here. So if this part fast forwards quite quickly it means I've tried, had trouble tying my knot <laughs> and you will see the end part. So it's not too tight but it's just enough just to give that a little bit of detail in there. Just cut these tails off. So there we go. So there is my knot tied. So nothing too special. I haven't done a bow, but what we want to do is we can then hide it on the back here. So we can go ahead and stick our design series paper this side here, and then we would then stick our sentiment piece here. Um, obviously, bear in mind, if you are going to be writing sentiment, you're going to have a little bit of ribbon underneath it. So just bear that in mind when you do write it, okay? And there we have it. So that fold flat on the all waves, like so. Okay, but this is the front. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my sentiment right here. So I'm going to go to even make a decision on whether or not I better pop this on as it is like that, or whether or not I pop it on. I think it gets lost when it's in like this. But I suppose let me just try it. Um, because I want that to go on like that. And then I can then have my happy birthday going over the top. So yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. So let's stick this down first. And then take our happy birthday sentiment and then stick that over that part right there like that okay so you, as that stands up you've got your flowers and your happy birthday but then what you can do is you can then stick this one over here I mean, when I initially did it, on my initial one, I did it the other way around and did the neutral colours on this side and the patterned one here. And I felt that what happened is that these got too lost with this. So which is why on this one, which I'm making for you now, I've decided to reverse the papers around. But you can also do it that way as well if you want to and then have the neutral colours here and then the patterns and then you don't have to decorate if you don't want to. You can just maybe put some decoration on this one. Okay, so there's some ideas there for you. But I think these flowers popped more when they were on the neutral background. And that there is is it. So that's fold flat for postage. It's got some height to it, so it's going to go through as a large, it will go through as a large letter in the UK here. Um, but it stands up and will stand on anyone's counter like that. And I think that's actually really, really quite, it's very easy, but it's very, very effective. I think that's going to be stand out and that's going to look different on anyone's mantelpiece, sideboard, coffee table, anything. And then you've got your room for your sentiment at the back. So I hope you've liked that. 
Um, please leave us a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Remember to hit and subscribe to our channel if you have liked what you've seen. Um, but yes, if you'd like to purchase anything you've seen us use, though, remember you can do so. Links to our online shop can be found down below in the description. Okay. Um, as I said at the beginning, use the current host code, which can be found on our website, matusucrafts.com. Um, it'll be over on the left hand, on the right hand side, um, and enter that, and it will allow us to send you a little freebie, and you would also get some free tutorials if you're all the qualifiers. The details on that can be found over on our website. And remember, there is currently at the moment fifteen percent off this designer series paper as well until the end of July. So grab yourself a bargain. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, um, and we will be back with you again on Sunday for a live, um, but. We will be back with you next Friday for another Fun Fold Friday video tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.